What's up guys, we're here with Arc World. We got some big news today about uh, land, land and dividend payments. So we talked about dividend payment before, they talked about this in the AMA. All the land owners that own land NFTs are actually gonna get a share of the rent from the XL Games lands. So this is cool, they finally reconfirmed that yes, dividend payments are coming, we are getting that and you will be rewarded some based on your land size. But land rent reduction. So let's just skip over this real quick and give you the, the skinny on this. They said they're gonna reduce the land rent prices once again. They said they want to make it cheaper because BSLT is so high. So they know that the land rent prices need to go down some to make it more adjustments, make it so more people can have land and make the game and the system just better in the future. So the old system land, System land used to be 202 for a small 530 or 553, uh, 1058 and so forth. And now these are the new prices. So look at this dramatic decrease on the large one. So the large one now will only cost you 675 BSLT to rent the land. Such a significant change. Uh, the, the, the medium one also down to 270, the small one down to 135. And with the price of Excel Games rentals going down as well, that means the player-owned rentals have to go down as well. Unfortunately, this means that NFT owners, land NFT owners that were not using their land is actually going to lose value. Like instead of getting 150 a month, we are now getting 100 if you are not using it, if you're just renting it to someone medium ones are even terrible like these are the ones that actually did rent in game some people were renting their their medium lands for 410 and now after the change it's only going to be 200 bslt so you're going to earn a lot less as a land owner if you are not using it yourself so it's really forcing land owners to actually play the game and use the land themselves so big changes on the mega and the extra large as well you can see mega going down to 2500 I still would never recommend anyone renting a mega plot or same thing. I would still never recommend anyone renting a extra large at 500. The large might actually be worthwhile to rent. We have to do some number crunches and some calculations and see, but yeah, I still don't think extra large and, and mega are worth renting at all. I would not rent them from players. And that means I definitely would not rent them from Excel games. The medium one definitely seems to be like a nice value right here. We'll have to do, again, do number crunching, crunch those numbers, those values to see what's gonna happen. But yes, 200 from a player, that is definitely a steal. I would rent the medium ones from players that I see. So I'm probably gonna be spending a bunch of BSLT after this update, renting medium land plots from players. And then Excel Games 270, uh, it's probably still a pretty good deal right there actually. So we'll have to see what happens with the labor price because that's how you make your money. You make your money by selling labor and you make your money by selling Archeum and then also plants and crops. So, but the main money comes from labor and Archeum. So these prices, 200, 100 BSLT, means it's gonna be very, very easy for you to make your return on your investment renting land. So if you are an owner of an NFT, you definitely want to be in the game using these lands and generating that labor and generating that Archeum. Next up, they also said, they're gonna let you adjust your price eventually. The system is not ready, but this is what they're kind of looking at right now. So they're saying this is what the, the price is, uh, you know, used to be over here. So user owned lots was 150, 410, 180, et cetera, right? And now these are the new values. And they said when they allow you to change your rent price, it's gonna be somewhere like this. You're gonna be able to change it between 50 and 200 for a small land which doesn't make any sense because why would anyone want to rent your land for 200 if they could rent a system land for 135? So this min and max doesn't necessarily make that much sense right now. We'll have to see if these system lot rent, uh, rents go up higher in the future, but as it is, no one in their right mind would be renting a small for 200 from a player unless we do get the trade pack system and having land in specific locations starts to become valuable. So if the location or the area that you're in starts to mean something, then this might change. These, these min and max values might actually come into play. I definitely would see people you know, using 
the min value to get a cheap friend in there or buddy. And I can understand why they don't want to put it as low as like a one BSLT. They don't want to encourage like scams and trades like that. So if you were able to put this down as a one BSLT, you could essentially like trade it to your friend and rent it to your friend for one BSLT for, you know, indefinitely type thing. Uh, so stuff like that they don't want to do, which bots could potentially abuse. So this is a very interesting system, but it's not ready yet. That will be in the future. Uh, they are working on that as, you know, fast, quick. Then this also here. So this is a translation into English, obviously, but it does not make any sense whatsoever. So they say, we are going to lower the rents and we're going to go and some compensation will be provided to the landlords and the tenants who meet conditions below. So just reading this, landlord. So if you're an NFT owner, the difference in rent reduction will be paid after the maintenance on September 29th based on the land ownership snapshot that was taken on September 28th, 1630 to 1650. Those who have a record of directly contracting their own land before the update will be excluded from the rent compensation. So this is talking about compensation, but a landlord who already rented their land got the full value that it was rented for before. Meaning if you rented out your medium land, you got 410 BSLT. So you're actually getting more if you rented it out. So there shouldn't be any compensation paid to those players that got, you know, the higher value. Essentially what should happen is if, if they're changing the rent prices and you rented it for 410 and now it's only worth 200, they should actually be taking away 210, but this is under compensation and this is translated. So we don't know what they actually mean with this because it's, head scratching. I have no idea. Like the difference in rent reduction will be paid after the maintenance on September 29th. I mean, does that mean that anyone that has a land that didn't get rented? So if you had like an extra large and like no one rented your land, they're going to give you a free 1,470 BSLT the difference of that. Like, we don't know. We don't know what they mean by this because the translation is so funky. And then also here we go, the tenant. The difference in rent reduction will be paid once after the maintenance in September 29th. If record of payment for the rent is the same lot more than twice before the update on September 29th. So once again, this is a weird translation. And what this means to me is that if you rented the first month and then you decided to renew your lease on that same land, and pay the rent again, which was, you know, we'll say 2,570. Now you're going to get eligible and you're going to get the difference. You're going to get 1470 reimbursed to you if you paid the second month's rent already. But if you didn't pay the second month's already, you get nothing. So this is why it sounds like the rent will be taken away from the landlords and given back to the tenants but it's weird that the landlord is in compensation because the tenant one, it definitely makes sense. If someone paid, you know, 1500 in rent and then they're reducing it down to, you know, 500, they should get that 1000 back. Unfortunately for what the players and what people are going to be really angry about is this does not apply to the people that paid the rent, you know, like last week or two weeks ago. Like it doesn't look like they're changing that. It says you had to have rented it twice before the update. So that means you had to rent it once and then you had to got the renewal in the mail and then paid the renewal. If you just rented it one time, you're screwed. Or at least that's what it, it reads to me in this translation. So yeah, this, a lot of people are going to be very angry and very pissed off. But again, you agree to the terms of the contract. They didn't change the contract terms for the first month. And yes, it does suck if you started like a week ago, that right there is a kind of a gray area. If you started a week ago and you paid the full rent price and now it changed, you should get some compensation out of that in my opinion. But if you started on September 1st or like September 3rd, the, you, you already agreed to that period and nothing changed during that period. So that makes sense to me. But it's, yeah, it's weird. It's very, very weird guys. We'll see what happens, what actually happens. 
Um, I can see a lot of people being angry and upset about this. And then the dividend. So dividend is de designed to accumulate a certain percent of the rent incurred during the current monthly system lot and redistributed to the land NFT owners. So here's the dividend wallet. So we can go check this out. We can see all the money that is in the dividend by going to the Boris scope. Paste the address in here, search the address, and we can see token balance. Actually, there's nothing in here. Did we copy it incorrectly? Dividend walled address. Zero tokens, transfers, nope, nope, nope. So it's not showing up in here. Is it's saying that there's a total of 68,493 BSLT based on what was in there September 28th. Payment of standard of, for the dividend for September. Differential dividend size based on land. And it says it's gonna be accumulation until the September 30th. Date of snapshot is September 30th. So if you want the dividend snapshot, which there's about 2,100 people, and you divide this number, 68,000 by 2,100, and it gets you approximately around 35 BSLT. And of course, they say the higher land that you have is gonna get more, so that means the smaller land. So the small lands are gonna get about 25 BSLT, the medium lands are gonna get about 30 BSLT is my guess, the large is gonna get about 45 BSLT, something like that. So it's a small, small amount, but it is a nice little freebie that you're getting for being a landowner. So you should expect to see that, and that will be paid out on October 6th. So I will leave all this information for you. It is linked down below in the description. Check this out, read it, try to understand it as well. But remember, the translation is already funky because it's coming from Korea, and this is not an English-speaking company. English is not the main primary language for them. They're not trying to cater to the English audience with Arc World right now. This is the Asian server. So we have to kind of decipher what they mean and try and figure out on ourselves because there's a lot of mistranslations that do happen. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think about this. Are you happy for the land prices going down for the rent prices there? Will the labor pots and the archaeum actually decrease as well? I don't know. I mean, I thought they would, but today we saw the labor pots skyrocketed up to like 7.5 BSLT. So something's going on there. Like people are stocking up on labor potions or maybe bots got destroyed that were abusing the labor system somehow. Uh, who knows, man? Like if, if the labor pots and the Archeum stay at the prices they are, it's so valuable to rent and to use your land for, you know, Archeum and labor production. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching as always.